Immigration issues are certainly in the spotlight these days. And now a new movie taps into that. It's called St. Judy, and it tells the story of an immigration attorney fighting for her immigrant clients. Take a look. Doctorate in clinical psychology from Cambridge. Oxford. <sighs> Hi. You petitioned for a variance on the work visa quota for, for mental health professionals from Africa. Ray Hernandez had started the process and then asked for more money, which you can't get without a work permit. It's a hell of a catch-22. That is a good case summary, but I don't deal with scumbag lawyers anymore. Here's your work visa. I got it approved. How can I be of assistance? <laughs> Michelle Monahan is here. She plays Judy Wood, and she is also joining us live via satellite along with the real Judy Wood. Welcome to both of you. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Thank you so much for having us. Michelle, what is, what is it like to be an actress playing a part of a woman that is right sitting right next to you? And still alive. And still alive. <laughs> <laughs> You know what, they're big shoes to fill. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, you know. Um, it was an incredible opportunity to really, to share Judy's remarkable story. You know, I'm really proud to be able to have people uh, see what this woman has single-handedly done. Uh, she's a very inspiring woman. Judy, tell us a little bit about the case. I mean, we were thinking, gosh, could this have just happened? Did we, your case led to women becoming a protected class, right? And, and it wasn't that long ago, which seems strange. Well, it's very disturbing, um, the fact that the tide has turned. I mean, women all over the world suffer amazing atrocities, horrible atrocities, where the very core of their nature is, is diminished. And um, the woman in the film, the, the person who's playing the woman from, uh, the person from Afghanistan, has suffered all kinds of atrocities. But the women who are sitting at the border today have also suffered that atrocity. And mainly that atrocity is a denial of their humanity. You know, we must remember that women are human beings. And currently, the, the system is rigged so that women are not allowed, actually, to apply for asylum. Their cases are being pretermitted, which is really shocking to me. In other countries, they're not allowed to apply, or, or you mean here at the right. U.S.? Okay. There's a Muslim ban, and so um, if, if this woman in the movie had been trying to come to the United States now, she would not be able to board the plane. She would not have been able to come here because of the Muslim ban, because she was from a Muslim country. But even without the Muslim ban, all the women from Honduras, from uh, Central America, and from Mexico who are sitting at the border now are having their cases pretermitted, which means they're not, they're not allowed to even present their cases for asylum in Ju immigration courts now. Uh, gradually, we're being able to whittle away at that ri ruling, but it's, it's really horrific. Michelle, this is quite a, a, quite a, a powerful, not to, not to say that the Mission Impossible mm -hmm. franchise isn't, but it's such, a, <laughs> it's such a different role for you. How do you go from one to another? Well, um, you know, I think as Judy was saying, you know, this is uh, this is a very uh, a timely issue, um, as we all know. And uh, you know, to be able to to talk about, to enlighten people, and to be able to humanize the plight of so many immigrants mm -hmm. um, all over the world, that that into itself is um, very inspiring to me as an actor. You know, it's a, it's a privilege to get to share a story that is very historical in nature. Um, and a story that is incredibly uplifting at the end of the day, really, and to see, you know, a woman front and center and to be sharing um, a female-driven story is very rare and one that you can imagine that um, I'm very much attracted to. So I'm very, very proud to, to be able to represent Judy in this film. Wow. Judy, your case changed law. It changed everything. Do you think bringing it back out in a movie like this do you expect or hope that change will come from this? 
I really hope so. I hope that people will realize that um, women are being dismissed. Actually, their cases are being dismissed. And if the current, if the, if the law as it stands today was the law then, this woman in the film would never have even had her case heard. So it's extremely important. And women who are detained now are also being drugged. In the movie, it brings out that uh, Asafa is actually being drugged with psychotropic drugs. No reason. She was not crazy. She was not, uh, she was not in any way incapacitated Judy, except um, by the drugs. And nowadays, women who are detained are actually being drugged. Right. Well, we're, we have and to leave so it at that. And they can't even tell their stories when they come before a judge. We're thank you so much. We're out of time, but we want to let everyone know, thank you so much for being here, that St. Judy does open in theaters next Friday, March 1st. Thank you, thank you ladies for being with us.